This piece started from a deep feeling of loneliness in my part. But as middle age encroached upon me, and I began to think about why make another work, I went to where that feeling was most alive. Perhaps it was a 24-hour news cycle with our Black Lives Matter. Perhaps it was this um, encroaching of artificial intelligence. I am shooting wildly at a series of feelings about loneliness and about drive and about principle, and then the appearance of my company. Let's call them my raft, something that has helped me fight off insanity and um, despair. The story of Moby Dick I had read in high school. And then um, my companion, my husband, we were reading it to each other. So I read it actually, high school faded because I couldn't remember anything from it. But suddenly it became very, very present to me. Around the time that we were reading that, maybe a year later, this spate of shootings happened, Ferguson and so on. Uh, and then there was this feeling of anger and isolation as a black man that happened. The character of Pip, the janitor of the Pequod, which is the, the ship that Melba writes about, he is, uh, I think he's very young, right? He might be 11 years old, maybe a little low, older than that. Plays a mean tambourine on this boat that has an immense group of characters from all corners of the world. But Pip, caught my attention and I felt embarrassed because I don't remember him when I was in 10th grade. Why don't I remember him? And then I thought, I don't remember the Pip character in the way that maybe America doesn't really remember what was behind all of those killings. Satisfied? No! no! But this little black was brilliant. Her tribe ever enjoy all holidays and festivities with finer, freer relish than any other race. For them, for us, the year's calendar should show nothing but 365 Fourth of Julys and New Year's Days. Forced soul with forced physical, meeting of heights majestic, thought to rise must be again and again. Give our church and let go home. Is our good is not my home. Is our good is not my home. Good Lord, I'm going home on Holy Tree. And what? Farewell, Gamble, and you win. I was um, living in upstate New York back in the 1970s. I was going to do a work which was called I Am Not Sidney Poitier. Persons of a certain generation will understand what that meant. No, I am not this acceptable, uh, upstanding black man that you can invite into your room and maybe even marry your daughter to. At the time I was going to make this work, I'm not Sidney Poitier, I thought to take a precious American document, precious to me and I think many people, uh, progressive people, and that's Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. And I've turned it backwards, which is a kind of violence to its meaning. 
As I have said in other works in the past, you should care enough about what he is saying to turn it around. Ring freedom let mountainside every from true become must this nation great. How's it feel to be a problem? I don't remember. You don't remember. They don't remember. We don't remember. Out from the center of the sea, poor Pip turned his crisp, curling black head to the sun. Another lonely castaway. The awful lonesomeness is intolerable. The intense concentration of self in the middle of such a heartless immensity. My God, who can tell it? Pip's ringed horizon began to expand around him miserably. The sea had jeeringly kept his finite body up, but drowned the infinite of his soul. Not drowned entirely, though rather carried down alive to wondrous depths where the strange shapes of the unwarped primal world glided to and fro before his passive eyes. And the miser man, wisdom, revealed his hoarded heaps and among the joyous, heartless, ever juvenile eternities, Pip saw the multitudinous, God omnipresent, coral insects that out of the firmament of waters heaved the colossal orbs. He saw God's foot upon the treadle of the loom and spoke it, and therefore his shipmates called him mad. So, man's insanity is heaven's sense. This is this little boy who's been left on the surface of the Pacific Ocean. He doesn't die, he doesn't drown, they do come back for him, the whalers. But from that day forward, he um, is considered mad. 
Or is he a truth teller? There's something about an artist in that. There's something about maybe a black artist in that. Who gets left behind? What is loneliness? What is vision? What is madness? All those questions dovetailed into our conversation right now about uh, the rights of black women, trans, violence, immigration. I mean, is it possible to have a we anymore? Is it possible? We talk about community all the time. Is it possible really to have a community? Is it the same thing as Martin Luther King's free at last, free at last, then you got him out of him free at last? It's my version of it. I think his vision of everyone taking hands is a hard one. It seems to be harder and harder every day. We know what people are angry about. It's hard to find what people love. Arnie Zane and I moved to Rockland County in 1978. I've lived here for years. My first day out from uh, self-quarantine and we come to Bear Mountain. It's very beautiful. I could walk to Georgia on this path. But as I came down, I looked around and what did I see that reminds me of the time we're living in now? and terrors the will arched over me a dismal gloom while all God's sun lit waves rolled by and left me down to do I saw the opening 
Oh, oh. 